हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ रेणुका एंड इन आवर बेसिक कार्ड मेकिंग टेक्निक वी यूज टू डे स्टेंसिल्स एंड हियर आई एम यूजिंग वन रोज स्टेंसिल्स फ्रॉम क्राफ्ट टेकोर एंड दे हैव लिटिल बिट ऑफ एडेसिव इन द बैक ऑफ द स्टेंसिल बट यू कैन यूज एनी स्टेंसिल एंड वील यूज सम पोस्टेड नोट्स these four colors of distress ink and some white card stock now you can make uh, directly on the card base or you can make a uh, two bases for the card and here uh, i am cutting this 8 and a half by 11 paper into exactly half to make a tall card so i'll cut it into 4 and 1/4 after cutting this paper in 4 and 1/4 i'll score it exactly in the half it's 11 so i'll score at 5 and a half and in this way we will get two tall cards here and i'll use the bone folder to add a crisp edge to it now this is our card size it is 4 and 1/4 by 5 and 1/2 so now you can directly use this card base or you can layer it up with another card stock so what what i'm doing here I'm choosing another card, and I'll cut this just less than one fourth on each side, so that the card length uh, width is four and one fourth. So we'll cut it at four. Okay, and on this side we'll cut it at. That one is five and a half, so we'll cut it at five and a one fourth first, and then I'll cut it into four. So this is our layer on white on white, and we'll stick that afterwards. So for this technique. I'll just peel off the sticker, or uh, here the stencil sticker, and then I'll place it on this. If your stencils don't have the sticky back, you can use post-it to just secure them. So now there is little bit. here so i'll just okay okay after doing this i will use any kind of uh, temporary adhesive to add and stick this to my craft sheet so here i'm using a uh, scotch tape you can use a painter tape or any kind of non permanent tape after that uh, i have this tin hole small blending tools with me and planning to color the roses in red and everything else in green shades of green 
so for covering that I will add this posted notes all around the rows so that the colors will not go and after adding these I'll speed up the process and uh, you can see how I color these roses and the leaves. So in this way uh, you can use these stencils and those who don't know how to draw it uh, beautiful drawings like this these are very simple technique for those and you can produce mass cards by using this technique by using only one color or two color so here I am just peeling off the stencil and after that will get a really nice uh, card here and uh, I am using here two types of uh, distress inks one is dark and one is light so you can do uh, this kind of technique with the acrylic color also and use this technique to make pretty flowers on cloths and other home project like tablecloths and pillows and curtains 
and uh, now I want to add little bit of this dark color around it you can add different colors also sky blue will also look nice with this combination or the dark brown the vintage uh, photo will also look nice and after giving little bit dimension to it by adding color I'll just place this on the white cardstock and I'm planning to use some foam dots here uh, before adding to the uh, cardstock we can add little bit sentiment to it you can add happy birthday or uh, thank you or any kind of sentiment here I am planning to use this thank you sentiment by studio G and for that I'll use the momento ink momento black ink and I'll just add this thank you on this side of the card after adding this sentiment I'll just use some pop dots to give little bit dimension to it you can avoid or skip this step and you can directly adhere this panel to the main card or you can you can use another matting layer for this but uh, I just want to make keep it simple you can add some drippings also so this is today's technique we'll use here I'll use your stencils and you'll get a pretty card I hope you enjoyed this card and got inspired if you have any questions you can ask me and uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Printress. You can see all the details and photos on my blog. And uh, happy crafting. See you soon. Bye bye.